Bye, Stephen. Enjoy yourself. It's three years since Alan became ill. During the most everyday tasks, Alan's mother Mary has time to reflect on how life has changed since meningitis arrived at her door. As time goes on, I mean, you still have to eat and you still have to cook, you still have to work, you still have to talk to people, so you do it and then it becomes normal again. The new normal, not a new normal. It's like you have a public face and you have your private face. And it's like your body is in two parts and one side is broken. But there's some comfort in the broken part because that broken part is Alan. Mary Farnan and her husband Gay arrive at Dunboyne Castle for the Black Tie Ball. Since Alan's death, Mary's goal is to raise awareness about meningitis. Tonight especially, her thoughts are with her son. When I woke up this morning after all the waiting, I thought, Jesus, this is the day. This is it. And then I thought about Alan and, and I, like only, only for he died, we wouldn't be doing it. But yet I really, really would love him to be here. I thought, just, just give him back, even just for a day. I know down there tonight everybody will be having a really good time and that's what it's about, it's about having a good time and raising awareness for meningitis research but in our hearts it's, it's Alan and Alan is just, he's just everywhere and the whole reason for it. As a parent of um, a victim of meningitis, there's two things just I'd like you to take with you tonight when you go home. And one is that old saying, mother knows best. When it comes to meningitis, I think every parent has a gut feeling that something is not right. And what I would say to you is when you get that gut feeling, go with it. The other thing I would say to parents is don't wait for a rash. I used to think before this happened, there'd be a rash that, dis that doesn't disappear under a glass. I didn't know before this that the rash can come at the end, as in Alan's case, the rash came just before death. Sometimes it doesn't appear. Jenna and Stephen are, are great. They're a great support all the time to us. There is a huge, big, big gap. But we're learning to live with the gap. There'll never be another one. There'll never be another Alan. I feel privileged and proud that he was my son, that I had given birth to him. As it fell out upon a day as many and near, on my grave to the church did go to see fair ladies there. Karen, Oliver's mum, has learnt about meningitis the hard way. Now I would say that if your child had any or more than one of the symptoms that you know of as meningitis, put meningitis in your head and put it in your mouth and say it to your doctor and say it and say it as loud as you need to. If you think, if your gut instinct is there and you think that it could be meningitis, then say it. At four years of age, Oliver Lewis has met all the challenges that meningitis has presented him. His future is very bright. And I think as a family then we just connect better now. We just, you know, our, our lives now are just constantly looking to the future. So I'm looking to see the ways that we can improve Oliver's life and, you know, that if there's any new technologies that we can help him, you know, with his legs or with sports and outdoor things, then we'll, we'll do it. This is our normal. You know, this is what this is what normal is to us. Um, Oliver is absolutely perfect from the knees up, and he's perfect from the knees down as well because this is what he's got. That's a big good jump. We're very lucky, very lucky. 
And if you have been affected by any issues raised in this programme, please see RTE Airtel page 700.